हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टूडे इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑफ लेसन वन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स द स्टोरी ऑफ विलेज पालमपुर होप यू आर डूइंग द असाइनमेंट्स गिवन द प्रीवियस डे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन हाउ इंडिया बिकेम सेल्फ सफिशियंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन बाय यूजिंग द मॉडर्न टेक्निक्स टूडे we are going to discuss about how the farm land has been distributed among the farmers in village palampur and through this we will be able to imagine the actual condition of the farmers of uh, different villages of india so you know the total number of families are 450 among them landless 150 families are landless cultivated small, small plots of land less than 2 hectares in size there are 240 families are there they are small farmers 240 families are small farmers in this category they cultivate small plots of land less than 2 hectares and nearby 60 families are there who are medium and large farmers they are having more than 2 hectares of land see the condition is too unequal here medium and large farmers are only 60 families but they are they are occupying the maximum plot of land the distribution of land uh, this is a tabular form you will be able to understand in a better way number of farming families 60 they are medium of lar and large farmers they are actually called landlords they are having 160 hectares of land 240 families they are having only 80 hectares of land they are small farmers small small plots of land they have and their farms less size of their farmland is less than 2 hectares and 150 families are there though they are also engaged in farming activity but they are landless farmers they work in these lands in the small farmers and um, land uh, medium and large farmers land as a land laborer they do not have any plot of land see the picture see the maximum area this is the total farmland the maximum area has been uh, covered by the uh, medium and large farmers but the numbers are less but and see the small farmers are very small small plots of land and numbers are more and they are having less than 2 hectares of land and the medium and large farmers are having more than 2 hectares of, of land and they are landlords or large farmers they are called actually this is the pie chart from here the you will be able to understand far better see this is the cultivated area the first pie chart is about the cultivated area this for this purple color what is about small farmers cultivated area so 36% of the cultivated area is being occupied by small farmers whereas 64% of the cultivated area is being occupied by medium and large farmers okay and see here this is the number of farmers though 64% of the cultivated area is being occupied by medium and large farmers the number of farmers are only 20% that means 20% farmers occupy 64% of land area whereas 80% farmers occupy only 36% of land area so this is the actual picture of indian maximum villages uh, and from that we can get the overview that the small farmers are having uh, very worse condition and th this is happening everywhere who will provide that now the next point is who will provide the labor labor is you know labor is one important factor of production who will provide the labor small for the small farmers as their their condition is not good they are having small plot of land they manage to work in their own field with their family members they they are not in a condition to hire the laborers and medium and large farmers hire farm laborers actually the landless farmers already i told you 150 families are landless landless farmers they work in the this large farmers or medium farmers land as land laborers okay now about the capital capital is that means input for the farming process every year some input is required what is the input what what is required um, the capital is required uh, how how it is being managed 
द स्मॉल फार्मर्स बरो मनी फ्रॉम लार्ज फार्मर्स और विलेज मनी लेंडर्स और ट्रेडर्स दे हैव टू बरो यू नो द स्मॉल फार्मर्स डू नॉट हैव द सरप्लस मनी टू buy every year the seeds and pesticides all these things because their production is late the small less the plots of land is also very small that is why they borrow from the money lenders or traders and the medium and large farmers are able to arrange for the capitals from their own savings they have they are having large plot of land so from their own savings they are able to manage the capital sale of surplus farm product by medium and large farmers and the, what the medium and large farmers do they they produce more and that is why they are able to sell the, their product in the market the surplus product in the market and that is their capital for the next year so they do not have to buy or borrow they, they that surplus production they sell in the market and that capital they use for the next year what is not at all for the small farmers now the next point is about the labor labor is the so from the whole discussion we can understand as 150 families are farm laborers they work in other medium and large farmers land whenever it is required they are being hired by the landlords or large farmers or medium farmers so labor is the most abundant factor of production here abundant factor means it is enough it is more quantity how much it is required more people are willing to work in farming activity but they do not have the land other otherwise uh, uh, either they do not have the land for farming or, uh, or they are not getting the work in other field every time in the year this this seasonally they are working so labor is abundant here in the farming process okay next we are now we are coming to the non farm activities so you know those landless farmers those who who are not getting work uh, throughout the year for farming activity how they will continue their livelihood they are they some of them are doing non farm activities 20% 25% people are engaged in non farm activities in palampur village dairy farming is one of that small scale manufacturing transport and then trade or shopkeeping next dairy farming means this is a facility for the extraction or processing of animal milk the milk is sold in the nearby large village traders have set up collection come chilling centers from where the milk is transported to far away towns or cities so dairy farming is one important non farm activity in maximum villages of india and especially in palampur district then it is coming small scale manufacturing in small scale manufacturing sugarcane is the most common small scale manufacturing business in palampur village some of the people some of the people have machines to crush the sugarcane and they crush the sugarcane and produce jaggery and further sell it to traders to make small profits so this is uh, one important non farm activity and in small scale manufacturing you know repairing vehicles is also being included the uh, repair uh, from bicycles tangas bullock carts machines trucks etc that is another another one type of activity some people are engaged in pottery that is also coming in small scale manufacturing small scale manufacturing activity they make pots and crafts um, they use uh, they found in the village they play an important role in building up and uh, modernizing families in the village next is transport another important non farm activity communication from uh, already i told you before in the first session that transport it is the palampur is is a very fairly well developed village her good transport facility is there communication from village to town for purchasing and selling goods have improved in palampur jeep tractors bullock carts all these are being used here the ferry people and goods from village to town and in return get paid for it the number of people involved in transport have grown in palampur it is a fairly well developed village in in the point of transport students now there is assignment for you how do the medium and large farmers obtain capital for farming 
medium and large farmers obtain capital for farming by selling the sur surplus production in the market for the next year so this year whatever the surplus production they sell in the market get the profit and that they keep for the next years uh, capital for farming how is it different from small farmers small uh, small farmers as they are having very small plot of land so they are not able to manage the uh, uh, surplus production and they are not getting profit they, whatever they produce for their own consumption they are using so every year they have to borrow they have to borrow from the uh, land landlords means large farmers or from the traders or from the money lenders and their condition is uh, so worse becoming worse day by day because they are not able to repay the money and they are being trapped in the debt or loan okay next is what are the major non farm activities in village palampur already i discussed that dairy farming is one important non farm activity then small scale manufacturing and uh, shopkeeping is also there the grocery shops are everything and then transport how much percentage of people are engaged in non farm activities here 25 percent percent of people are engaged in non farm activities here so students thank you very much complete the assignment